Hello everybody. Here we are on a sunny Wednesday afternoon. I have thin all ready for the day. Uh, these little pants are by Jimboree and the little hat as well is by Jimboree. Um, the hat is not newborn size. It is I think zero to three so I had to um, pin it in the back so it would fit his head because it was um, a little too large. So, um, and then the shirt he's wearing is by Koala Baby. It didn't come with this outfit. Um, I bought these on clearance and they didn't have the onesie in stock, obviously. So I just paired it with this and it looks uh, really good. Um, I love these pacifiers here. They are my gumdrop and they are my absolute favorite for this little guy. Um, He's so cute. Oh my gosh. I love the lighting that's coming through uh, the nursery. The natural lighting is amazing. Um, I take so much better photos. I think my video quality is a lot better. Let me zoom in. Um, with the natural lighting coming through the room, it just makes my videos a lot crisp and cleaner looking. Um, compared to when I was in my mom or in my bedroom and I didn't have very good lighting. It was very dim a lot of times. I didn't have very big windows in my room. So in here I have two large great windows that I just open the blinds and all this natural light just comes pouring in and I love it. Um, yeah, he is just a little sweetheart. Um, he has little scratch mittens on today. They are the cutest little mittens. They were given to us by Mindy from Stars in a Forest, and they have little bears on them. They're really super cute. Um, yeah, he just, he's so adorable. He really is. He's just a little sweetheart. It's so much fun having a boy again in the nursery. I, I have missed having a boy. As you can see, I did my nails. They're like this violet color. This is like a gel. Um, it's by S um, Sally Henson. And I'm really into the gel um, nail polish. And they seem to last a lot longer than just regular nail polish. So I did my nails yesterday. And I modified two... So two or three pacifiers? Three. I modified three pacifiers for Finn this morning. Um, these are the ones I bought from Dana, silicone baby. One is this adorable little nook. Let's see if my <laughs> camera will focus. It has this little sea turtle. It's so cute. I love it. It's adorable. Let me kind of turn you this way a little bit. There we go. So it's this little sea turtle and he looks really, really precious with it on. Fits his face perfectly. Let me turn him this way so you guys can see. There we go. That looks a lot better. There we go. Trying to get the camera angles down. Um, so that is really great and great for summer. So I think I'll pull a little onesie out, um, probably something that's green. That will go really well with this passy. And we have this one here by Newbie, which is, oh, I love this one. It has a little bear. And what's so cute is he's holding a little teddy bear. He's getting ready for bed. It's like a nighttime Newbie so adorable and it has this really cool darker plastic right here on the top I thought it was rubber at first but it doesn't feel like it it just feels like a harder plastic but it's it's really super sweet and that fits his face like awesome and uh, I love yellow love yellow for babies so there's that one. And now this one is on the larger size, but I, I love it. It is by Avent. It's a little bear riding in a car, and I like how his scarf is just blowing in the wind. 
So this one here is on the large size, as you can see. Um, it's pretty big, but I love it. It's just so cute. It looks very vintage, and it'll look great with just a onesie and, and things. So I thought that would look really sweet on him. So I modified that one for him. So those are the three that I modified. Um, like I said, I'm very fortunate that he takes the same pacifiers that I had for William. Um, so I don't need to switch the magnets around. I'm so happy about that. Oh, that would have taken, that would have been kind of time consuming because <laughs> I hot glue my pacifiers, um, which is really good because I can reuse them. I don't use the E6000. I use hot glue. Um, so he has quite a few passies, as you can see. The ones I will not modify, the ones I will keep for props, are these Chico pacifiers that I adore, absolutely adore. Um, and I got the red and the blue one. You guys probably see my video when I showed those to you. But they are so adorable. They have little snails, uh, alternate colors on their shells. They're really cool. And the nipples are latex. So I've never seen these. I know they're from um, the overseas brand. I'm not sure. It doesn't say on the pacifier like Germany or anything like that. But I will treasure these. So they'll be in photos this is a prop um, or like maybe when I take him out and I'll clip it to his pacifier holder um, I think that would be really sweet and the nipple is so tiny it is little these are definitely newborn pacifiers they are so sweet I'm so tempted to modify them but I can't I don't know I just can't do it yet <laughs> they're just too cute um, those are my favorites so I keep these in a Ziploc bag so they don't get all banged up with the other pacifiers. I actually need to put them in another spot. I just don't want the like the little um, the little print to get chipped, you know, or scratch from the other pacifiers I have in the box. And I think that's about it, guys. I don't really have too much to share. Um, I am having a reborn meetup this Friday. Um, she is the same young lady that I met up with the last time we had our Reborn Mommy meetup, but this time she's going to come over to my house and we're going to hang out here in the nursery and she's going to see Finn and she's going to see Ellie. Um, I need to make a changing video with Ellie. She's still wearing her little jean romper outfit. I just love it on her, so I don't want to take it off her. <laughs> but... Um, She's chilling in the bassinet right now, or the pack and, not the pack and play, gosh, rock and play. So, um, I've been showing little Finn here some love. And I just noticed that, I remember with my Asher sculpt, the way his legs were, and his, his legs are so cool. Um, they're very newborn, the way they're bent, like this leg is really bent, um, let me just pull up his pant leg. This one is just really, really bent. And this one here is more extended. Um, as you can see. So this one here is way more bent than this leg. But look at all those wrinkles in his feet. I just love, love this sculpt. Really, really do. And he has really definite, like he has really defined thighs. Like you can feel like, um, like, like where the muscle is. It's weird. <laughs> it's weird in a good way because it's so realistic to me. So, yeah, he's so sweet. So sweet. And he's been so much fun taking photos of. And um, Amelia. Um, Oh my gosh, I've been loving seeing her photos with her new mommy. Her new mommy is so awesome at taking photos on Instagram. I told her that in person. I'm like, 
Oh my gosh, girl, you have some mad talent. I love the way she takes photos. I try my best at taking photos on Instagram. You know, I, I care. I don't just snap the photo. You know, I like to pose them in different ways and um, have the lighting correct. But um, there are certain people on Instagram that they just know like how to lay their babies a certain way, how to pose them a certain way, how to put their arms a certain way. And I just, I really get drawn to that um, when people do that because it is just so cool how they take the time to really um, put effort into the photos. So I'm, I would love if she had a YouTube channel, but she's more into the photos, which is totally fine. Um, taking photos is a lot of fun because you just snap the photo and upload it and, you know, you don't have to worry about getting the tripod out, making sure there's, you know, you have all your stuff together and what are you going to talk about? Sometimes it's nice just to snap a photo and upload it on Instagram. And uh, I enjoy it. Well, I won't keep you guys any longer. Have a wonderful Wednesday and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye guys.